Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. The Tesla Roadster Mark II. Out of all the really cool things that Elon Musk has been talking about over the past couple of years, like the Cybertruck, the Semi, the $25,000 Tesla, all the new updates to the existing cars, that's good stuff. But the new Tesla Roadster supercar, that is the single most insane, most badass, most drool-worthy announcement that Elon has given us. And so far, we've been left hanging for one hell of a long time on this one. In November of 2017, Tesla held a launch event for their brand new electric semi truck and to the surprise of pretty much everyone they threw in this bright red sports car as a bonus announcement this was a very big deal for two reasons one this is tesla's first attempt to follow up on their original roadster design which was the first ever tesla vehicle to hit the road back in 2008 Production of the OG Tesla Roadster ended in 2012, and they have not sold a purpose-built sports car since then. Reason number two, the specs that were announced on this car are absolutely batshit crazy. The fastest production car ever made, with a claimed 0 to 60 time of 1.9 seconds, a 0 to 100 mile per hour time of 4.2 seconds, and a top speed of over 250 miles per hour. These numbers put the Roadster in the same league as F1 race cars in terms of acceleration performance. Elon wanted this announcement to be a smackdown on gasoline powered supercars. And even three years later, that flex still stands as no other auto manufacturer has been able to achieve a 0 to 60 time under two seconds with a street legal car. Then Elon started talking crazy and telling people he was putting SpaceX rockets in the car and things just got ridiculous. But as we're coming to the end of 2020, we still have no Roadster on the market and there have been very few updates given on what stage of readiness this beast is actually in. So let's take a look at what we know about this car as of November 2020, some educated guesses we can make about how it will work and what updates to expect in regards to the Roadster in 2021. The looks. So, based on the information that we have to work with, this will definitely be a two-door vehicle with a removable roof. It's not a convertible, you'll have to physically remove the roof and either leave it at home or store it somewhere on the car. This will not be a two-seater either. We know this Roadster will have back seats, even though they surely won't be usable for any reasonable sized human beings. In terms of looks, this is hands down the most beautiful Tesla that we have seen yet. This thing looks like the sports car of the future. It's not some over-the-top race car looking thing like a McLaren. It's not a flimsy little convertible like a Miata. This is a whole new breed of supercar and it makes the original Tesla Roadster look like a toy by comparison. Looking at the interior renderings that we have seen so far, this is an extreme demonstration of minimalism. The inside of the Roadster looks to be completely void of any quirks, features, gauges, dials, or controls of any kind. They're simply a rectangular F1 style steering wheel and a vertical center screen that curves from the center console up to the dashboard. Compare that to your typical supercar with an interior that looks like the cockpit of a fighter jet or a rocket ship. This is another bold statement from Tesla's design team. Rounding out the look of this car is a very cool wheel design. Not only are they big with wide 21 inch rims in the back and 20s in the front, but they also feature a single center lug nut just like an F1 race car. This is definitely not a practical choice as this means that only a special kind of high torque pneumatic wrench will actually be able to get the wheels on or off, but it does give these wheels a very sleek, clean look and they're actually sick looking rims, something that Tesla has really struggled with so far in my opinion. The power. This is where the real magic happens. The Roadster will be getting Tesla's new plaid powertrain and high efficiency battery cells. This is the same three motor system that was just released in the Model S plaid. That means two motors in the rear and one in the front. That name plaid is reference to the movie Spaceballs where the only speed faster than ludicrous was plaid. Anyone under the age of like 25 is not going to have a damn clue about that reference. It was a Star Wars parody movie. It's pretty funny. Anyway, with each rear Rear wheel having its own motor that will mean more efficient and more controlled power delivery to the wheels. The car should have much better control over traction because the rear differential will no longer be needed, which will be key to nailing those ultra fast 0 to 60 times. The tri motor design will also allow for more accurate torque vectoring. 
which is a system the car uses to distribute power between the front and rear wheels and increase rotation during cornering. So plaid will also mean better handling in extreme situations. The battery system powering these three motors will be the new high efficiency cell that we saw announced at battery day. You can check out our video on that for more details. These cells will be key to achieving the 620 miles of range that Tesla are claiming for this car. That is by far the longest range of any battery powered vehicle. It even exceeds the new Model S Plaid at 520 miles. Just for reference, the closest non-Tesla EV in terms of range that is available right now is the Chevrolet Volt, and that gives you just 259 miles of range. It's also very likely that the Tesla Roadster's batteries will be housed in the new structure battery cell. This is a design that is rolling out to the European Model Y vehicle in the near future, and this system integrates the battery pack housing into the central frame of the vehicle. The car doesn't carry the batteries anymore, the battery packs become a part of the structure of the car. This increases the strength and rigidity of the frame, which would make perfect sense in a Roadster design, and Elon even said in his announcement that the structural battery would make a car with no roof just as rigid as any car with a roof. Not sure what else he could possibly be referencing except the Roadster. Rocket engines. Let's talk about the craziest rumor surrounding this already insane car. That it will have a series of SpaceX designed rocket thrusters positioned around the body to increase acceleration, cornering, and braking. And this is not something Elon has been the least bit shy about on his Twitter and in interviews. He said many times that the 1.9 second 0 to 60 is just from the base model Roadster and that there is more to come. On the Joe Rogan Experience podcast in May of 2020, Elon said, we're going to do some things that are kind of unfair. We're going to take some things from the rocket world and put them on the car. And for years, Elon has been dropping hints about this on Twitter, saying the rockets will be hidden behind the license plate and flip out like a James Bond car. I don't know if this is just a sales pitch to keep up the hype on a car that is still far away from production or what this is all about, but the YouTube channel Engineering Explained did a very in-depth scientific look at this cold gas thruster system. He's a very smart dude with a very large whiteboard and an impressive collection of markers, so I'm inclined to believe him when he says that not only is the rocket-powered Roadster possible, but that it should also be capable of making a 0 to 60 time of just one point one seconds. He explained that this would be a one-shot party trick and the car would not be able to reproduce this feat every time you stomped on the gas. The acceleration would be made possible by a 10,000 PSI compressed air tank that would replace the back seat of the car and could supply just enough thrust to power the rockets for one to two seconds. There would be a pump that could replenish the tank with gas, but it wouldn't be a reliable on-demand power source. Engineering explains breakdown of the system as he sees it, kind of debunks the idea that thrusters could work as a cornering aid because the supply of compressed gas is so limited there's always the chance that the rocket's fuel could run out mid-corner and that would cause a very sudden and catastrophic imbalance in the car's handling. So it looks like there's no way that could be safe under any circumstances. Not that the car lifting off the ground and flying would be safe either but it technically would be possible price and availability. So far, the new Roadster has been priced very aggressively, coming in lower than its direct competition and being priced much, much lower than some of the super exotic performance cars that it will easily outrun. The Tesla is about $31,000 cheaper than the Porsche 911 Turbo S, which is a fairly close comparison. And Tesla are obviously saving a lot of cost by stripping down the interior to just the bare essentials. Now, what do you do if you happen to be one of those lucky few people with $200,000 burning a hole in your pocket and a need for speed? Well, that's where the bad news starts because all you can really do for the foreseeable future is wait on this one. In the original announcement, Elon was hoping to have these cars in production by late 2020, but clearly that's not happening. When he was speaking to Joe Rogan on the podcast in May, Elon did not give us much hope that the Roadster will be here anytime soon. When Joe pressed him on when the new sports car would hit the road, 
Elon kind of stumbled and said, well, we should probably do the Cybertruck and Semi first. The Roadster will be like dessert. It has to come after. And since we are still waiting for a release date on that damn Cybertruck, that pretty much cements that the Tesla Roadster will remain a dream for at least a few years to come. But while we wait, let us know what you think about this crazy car in the comment section down below. Do you think we will ever see a Tesla Roadster being sold with rocket boosters built in? If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.